AP Calculus AB Section 1 Exam Review Question 3 Limit of a Function If f of x is equivalent to the square root of 2 times x plus 5 minus the square root of x plus 7 all over x minus 2 for x is not equal to negative 2 and f of 2 equals k and if f is continuous at x equals 2, then k is equivalent to a, 0, b, 1 over 6, c, 1 over 3, d, 1, or e, 7 fifths. What we're effectively being asked to do is to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. But we're already told that f of 2 equals k, so the limit as x approaches 2 equals k, hence we can solve for k. So k is equivalent to the limit as x approaches 2 of the square root of 2x plus 5 minus the square root of x plus 7 over x minus 2. Now what we're going to want to do is to get rid of the radical signs in the numerator. Okay, so we can accomplish this by multiplying by the conjugate, and the conjugate is simply just changing the sign in the middle to a positive or a plus sign. So we now have the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x plus 5 minus x plus 7 over x minus 2 times the conjugate of um, these two radical expressions, which is the square root of 2x plus 5 plus the square root of x plus 7 over the square root of 2x plus 5 plus the square root of x plus 7. So in order to become comfortable with this technique, because you're probably going like, what's going on in your mind, you just need to do a lot more problems, okay? So after um, multiplying out the numerators, you're going to eliminate the um, radical signs and you FOIL the terms essentially, and you end up with 2x plus 5 minus x plus 7. I recommend that you FOIL, when I say FOIL, I mean multiply the first terms by each other, multiply the outside terms by each other, multiply um, the inside terms by each other, and then multiply the last. Do this on paper so that it can make sense to you that this is what you get. And essentially what you can also do is just get rid of the radical sign in the first expression, okay? And we didn't go ahead and um, foil out the last term because I want to make something neat clear to you. If you go ahead and start substituting in 2 without multiplying the, um, the denominator, you'll notice that you get something that's close to 0 in the numerator and something that's close to 0 in the denominator. Because remember, x is never actually 2. It's always approaching 2, so it could be, I don't know, 2.01 or 1.99. Okay, so you're going to... Something really tiny in the numerator and over something really tiny in the denominator is just going to give you 1, okay? So you can essentially just get rid of this. And so... Now we have um, the limit as x approaches 2 of 2x plus 5, the square root of 2x plus 5 plus the square root of x plus 7. And all we're going to do now is just substitute in 2. And we realize that we get um, the square root of 9 plus the square root of 9 in the denominator which is just going to give us so 6. So the correct answer is going to be 3. P so the final answer six. is 1 over 6.